So hello there, welcome to this video guys and uh, and welcome to this game. It's called Quiver Dicks. Terrible tale for terrible parents to read to their equally terrible children. That's one long title for a game and apparently it's just a comedy game. It's not it's also story based game I think. I, I got it for like a few cents. And few ringgits actually, yeah, but still yeah. Let's let's check it out. What is that, what all the fuzz is all about in this game? And uh, I got a lot of questions already right in the beginning of this picture right here. It's so weird. Why are there two kids crying with this freaking nun and an old man and a freaking assassin? All right, let's get to it. What are you about to witness cannot be unseen and cannot be unread. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. Oh. If you continue, do so at your own risk. And as I'm absolutely positive, there's better use of your time doing pretty much anything else. <laughs> it's the developers telling me not to play their games because it's just a waste of time. <laughs> If you do choose to stick around, then please enjoy this terrible tale for the terrible parents to read to their equally terrible children. That's the freaking title. And I got this for... I bought this. It's not free, so I'm gonna play it. I don't care. I have to take that, game developers. If you just so happen to be a terrible parent, you may enjoy reading this terrible tale to your terrible children. <laughs> okay. You're, if you're not a terrible parent, then you should probably shouldn't be here. As I'm sure you will not enjoy this terrible tale. Well, I'm not. I'm not. Uh, I'm not married yet, so yeah. Why must it? Must you be married to play this game? If, however, you are a terrible parent, but your parents are not terrible children, uh, but your kids are not terrible children, then perhaps you should look elsewhere. As this is a terrible tale, is better suited for the appropriately terrible children. What? So, who is the terrible one right now? The child, the freaking parent or the freaking childrens? Come on. If a terrible children but are not a terrible parent, you're probably on your way out of this point. <laughs> wow, he's doing so much explanation for terrible stuff. A terrible, ch terrible children or terrible parents. All right. However, let's be honest. If your children are terrible, then you're probably a terrible parent. <laughs> it's probably all your fault. Wow! Right into your face! Right? Right into your face! Terrible parents out there. I don't know what it does it... What kind of level that is considered as a terrible parents? Maybe like beating up your kids or whatsoever? Or throw them to the wall or something that's considered terrible? I don't know. There's all different things happens in the world on how to raise a children, which means that this is that this tale is in fact for you. What? Ah, it's all baloney. Get ready for <sighs> Kuva's next terrible tale for the terrible parents to read. They are equally terrible children. Okay, enough with the damn terrible title. Oh, look! <laughs> hey, Gambra, can you read us a bedtime story? Oh, here we go right away to the bedtime story! Right! <laughs> Emma! Yeah, Grandpa! Emma! Yeah, Grandpa! Made a motivational story! A motivational, alright! Yeah, a motivational story that's super positive and shit! <laughs> oh, whoa! Watch your tongue and your language right there, Mr. Andrew. I read a story about an underdog that ends up beating the odds and winning some, <laughs> and winning some big competitions or something. Or a story of how you get that arrow lodged in the dick, Grandpa. What? An arrow lodged in the dick? Oh, that hurts. Oh, okay. I, 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 I quit. Yeah. 
Stupid game. Yeah, but all seriousness, I'm back. I have to play this game. I can't leave like that. <laughs> Old Man Quiver. Oh, this is the main character, dude. Alright. Well, that might be a story for another day, Andrew. Perhaps I can tell a different tale for you, children. Perhaps. A terrible tale. <gasps> Look at it. <laughs> Look at the girl's eyes. God damn it. A terrible tale, Grandpa? What what makes the tale so terrible, Grandpa? Oh stupidity. Lots of it. Oh I don't know what should I use there. Oh sneakers. Oh, okay. It sounds like a perfect tale for stupid mech stupid pants, doesn't it, Dendro? Mm -mm. mm -mm. I'm I'm not stupid mech stupid pants. My name is Andrew, and I'm super smart. I doubt it. <laughs> Grandma Tracy. What did I tell you about having self confidence, Andrew? Damn, is that a good? And uh, grandma impression, man. But kids supposed to have self confidence a little, right? But not too much. Mm. <laughs> that I don't deserve it, and I'll never, um, never amount to anything because I'm ugly and I'm a bad case of herpederps. Grandma, what's herpederps? Not herpes, isn't it? I mean, it's still young and impossible you're gonna get herpes. Let's check it out. Herpaderps. Okay, what is herpaderp? Oh wait, there's two. There's two meanings to do this. Why they have to use this word? God damn it! The highest evolution of dan genital herpes that has no cure to prevent any outbreaks, and the other meaning was herpaderp is the land of unhappiness in which most of people reading this definition live in. It is a lonely, socially deprived, self-loathing form of existence that can, known as of yet, never be left by human means. Oh wow, that's uh, that's. That's 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 fucked up. Well, um, your words not mine. <laughs> All right, Grandpa, can we hear the story already? Oh, I suppose so, Emma. Yay! I can't wait to hear this terrible tale. <sighs> Be careful what you wish for, Emma. Am I right? You just might get it. Well, duh, that's what we've been waiting for 10 minutes now. Oh my god, my recording was exactly 10 minutes right now. I mean, un uncut one is not the already trimmed one. We always assume your stories are going to be terrible, Grandpa. They are always terrible. Holy shit, what a roast, goddammit. You, you want stories from your Grandpa, but you're just gonna tell him that it's terrible? Man, no wonder you are stupid. <laughs> Fair point. Oh, there goes the Granny again. Why don't you tell them that the terrible tale that taught you that one moral lesson, Tidge Majigger? Tigger <laughs> Oh, are they just making out words? <laughs> yeah, Grandpa, the one with the thing. What thing? <laughs> oh, why, of course, the tail. The one with the thing. Now, what thing that was that again? What? Now, what thing was that again? I could have sworn there's a thing I had in mind. Ooh. I have a belly button, Grandma. 
Where did I come from? What? <laughs> oh, that random dumbass comment you just made helped you spark an idea for it. Say, Andrew. Holy shit. This is tell all. Yeah, here comes again. Tell all what, Grandpa? He doesn't remember, Emma. Get off his back. Of course I remember, you little shit. <laughs> Calling your grandchildren's shit right away, nice. <laughs> of course I remember, you little shit. But yeah, Emma, get off my nuts. <laughs> what the hell is wrong with this family? I said back, Grandpa. Jesus, what the hell? Uh, this dude is death and having ins uh, what do you call that? Uh, Alzheimer's, yeah. What? Whatever. Anyways, this is a tale of something. Uh, I'll make it up as long as I go. You'll sit here and listen whatever you like or not. You got it, Grandpa. Okay, here we go. Holy shit, almost somewhere. Nice place. What a nice place. So, it all started with an old lady being pushed around and bullied by a couple of dickheads who had nothing better to do than pick on some old broad. Okay. Is this a fantasy RPG kind of a story thing? Um. Oh wow, she looks... Oh, that's, that's the nun in the beginning. Leave me alone. I don't want any brother. <laughs> I can't read. I don't want any trouble. Sister Whitstead? Is that a name? No, when I say some old broad, I mean a young woman who just happens to be a nun. <laughs> wow, this is definitely a made up story, alright. Oh wow, Mr. Fister. Sister Fister. Hey sisters! <laughs> oh man, there's a lot of voice I'm gonna make, so I think I won't be doing more voices again. It's gonna be so tiring entire for the entire recording. Hey you, stay away from the our fine establishment. That's an establishment? Their house? Oh, this is the main character or something? He looks better. Yeah, we better not see you hanging around our village practicing that mumbo jumbo wishcraft of yours. None is performing witchcrafts. We don't take kindly to you worshipping that god. God? Stay in the forest where you belong, animal. Oh wow, calling a nun animal? I'm, I didn't know what the, the what the nun do, but yeah, apparently they don't like her. Or else... All I did was bless someone when they sneeze. I haven't even lived in your village for over 10 years. <laughs> oh, you just sneeze and just like, oh, bless you. And you're just gonna trash this nun. <laughs> well, I'm just reminding you. Stels, Stylus Davis, that's his name. Just a reminder, nun lady. Oh, whenever we'll date, leave me alone. Those guys are total douche, douche nozzles, but what do they expect from the two guys named Mr. Fistus and Stylus Davis? What do they expect? <laughs> Duh, you the one to make the names for them, isn't it? You're the one to stole the teller. Come on. I'll come back to that part of the story later. What? For now, let's focus on this little fairy. <laughs> Whoa, right away. I did not expect a word right there. Let's focus on that little fairy frick here. Oh, hey. oh some. <laughs> Holy shit! Some old, some old cunt. <laughs> oh, that's the best name for a freaking sorcerer or something. Holy shit! Some old cunt. <laughs> you shouldn't be here, little fairy. Oh, okay, that's small. Oh dear, that doesn't sound good. 
when I get my hands on you, I'm gonna chop you into tiny pieces and more than meat off your bones. Holy shit, that's terrifying. <gasps> well, I think that's my cue to leave. Alright. Run, run, little fairy, run. Run. Oh, okay. So, am I? Oh, I'm controlling it. Okay. Do I have any kind of, uh... Oh. I do not know what is the... Commands. Command remember. Keyboard config. Oh, okay. What the... What the shit? Oh, that's dash. Okay. Stacks of flour are stacked in the corner against the wall. Alright. Now, this won't do me any... Though, this won't do me any good on its own. Okay. Any crates are piled high on each other, sealed up tight. I bet there's tons of food in these. Okay. I don't think we're boosting anything out of them. We are going through, going unnoticed. Okay. This basket lo looks like it fills with... What the actual frick is that? <laughs> I think he may have a series about eating me. Okay. Alright. The basket is filled to be brim with rotten moldy tomatoes. I'm pretty hungry. I'm a little, little mold never hurt anyone. But for some reason, I don't think that guy is going to be keen on the idea of me taking his food. Alright. So, can we do something about it? The fire is warm and comforting even with the weirdo standing right beside me. Okay. An empty wicker basket rests still on the table. Figures that there will be no easily accessible food to just take and run. Alright. Can I just turn on the stove? The stove is completely caked from top to bottom in the grim and filth. Alright. Wow, someone needs to be do some cleaning. Alright. I guess there's nothing else to do. Your face. It looks so soft. I want to pet it inside of my tummy. Holy shit. Okay. Oh, do I need to get out of here? Okay, okay, okay. I'll, I'll get out of here. Okay. Well, that guy was creepy. Dude, you're the, you're the freaking storyteller. Come on. Let's continue on the rest of the story, shall we? Marry the fairy. Marry the fairy? That's Mary? Come on. Was visiting the graveyard one day in search of food. Huh. Yeah, that's my exact... That's exactly my question. Looking for food in the graveyard? You're gonna eat some skeleton or something? Oh yes, the fairies eat him. Oh shit. <laughs> no, wonder no wonder they said things can be unseen in this game. Fairies eat human flesh, don't you know? Holy shit. Wow, I didn't know that, Grandpa. That's scary. It is. Fairies are very weak, however, so they typically go to graveyards to feast on the flesh of those already dead. Oh, okay. So anyway, this little fairy, Mary, as stated previously, was on their way to get some food. Mary had some mega munchies as she was up all night for 420 blazing it like a G. Is that a reference right there? I want to be a G, Grandpa. You'll never be a G, Andrew. I can be G if I want, Grandpa. I can be whatever I want to be. What? What's G? Grandpa? <laughs> You'll be a Grandpa one day? I just want to believe real hard. <laughs> Andrew, you can't tie your shoes. You shit your parents at least eight times a day. You cry whenever you heard the birds chipping outside of your door. Outside of your window in the morning? Oh wow. That's one intense problematic children right there. <laughs> Dear trippy chirp tweety tweet songs are just so beautiful. Oh okay. I thought the birds scared them, so because that's why he cried, I don't know why. You are the furthest thing from a G that anyone has ever been, period. Richard Simmons is more of a G than you. What the hell is G? Mm. 
Oh, I like him. He's my favorite. That's the little girl down the street in the wheelchair is more of a GDNU. Oh, Grandpa be roasting his kid like hell right now. Hey! hey. Well, duh, she can do drive by his grandpa. That's an unfair advantage. I just have these shitty legs. Nah, you guess I had to exercise more, I guess. Step in my office, Andrew. We can clear up this leg issue you're having. Oh, what? What are you gonna do? Cut it off? I'm not playing doctor with you again. <laughs> oh, you just playing doctor, alright. Me and my brain. Oh, shit. You tried to cut my kidney out last time? Holy shit, what kind of siblings is this? What? Holy shit. Correction, I tried to cut your liver out, Andrew. Is it not worse than what you said just earlier? <laughs> I did cut your kidney. Oh my god. With the face, really? Okay, uh, I, uh, there's a lot of take in, guys, so I'm so sorry. Oh, but Jesus, this isn't good. Don't worry, Andrew. Oh my god, I laugh. Andrew, I have a 100% success rate when operating on my patients. Something like a skill? All of your patients have died in my- Oh! <laughs> Holy shit! I I I'm curious to know who are the patients. I hope there's no humans or maybe like some kind of a lizard or something. But he- f she freaking did an operation on her own brother. I guess. I assume, I assume that's, that's her brother. But ew, oh my god, this girl is twisted. Exactly, okay. She didn't even... How is she getting away with that? When did my grandchildren become little psychopaths? With this kind of grandpa, I'm not surprised. I can tell you that. Man, they pop off... Pop out of their vo mother's vagina, Richard. But yeah, with their parents though. Anyways, food for the fairy. All right. I'm quite famished. I need some num nums. I wonder where my fairy friends are. Okay. How about this night? Jeremy die. Jeremy die. Is that a reference or something? Well, hello there, little fairy. Oh, this is sound, okay. He hello to you, sir. How are you doing on this fine day? I'm doing well, thank you. You seem nicer than an old man inside. Oh? How so? He threatened me to cut into tiny pieces and eat me. Oh, I'm sure he's gonna say something more worse than that dude inside. That's just some old cunt trying to scare you. <laughs> They just, man, he's just trying to make a freaking phrase that goes rhyme with it. Okay. Well, he was quite rude. He's one some might call a. Uh, a what? A mini face? Precisely. Oh, wait, I skipped that shit. Thanks for talking to me, mister. I should be really on my way now. You should take care now, little fairy. And with that, Mary the fairy went on her way. Oh, just as you reach your hand out to touch the butterfly, it disappeared with a flash of light. Huh? What's this? Where's the butterfly last while sits a crystal on the ground? Hmm. Ooh, a crystal. What kind of crystal, grandpa? It was a lore fragment crystal. Lore. The story fragment? Really? You had to collect fragments of a story to progress? What's a lore fragment crystal? Well, we'll find out later. Possibly de depends. Okay. Huh? Depends on what? 
Right now, it depends on whether you shut up, we can continue the damn story. <laughs> okay, Mary obtains a lore fragment. Okay. Oh, hello. There you are, I've been looking all over for you, bunch. Slip nips. What? What the hell? This. <laughs> What's with the names? What the hell, man? Slip nips. Ah, uh, they're gonna make it like an entity. Yeah, no, no offense, entity though, but uh, yeah, I'm not going to do anything. It just says slip nips. That's all I think about. All right. Missed out on a dinner. You could have saved me some. Save me some. You snooze, you lose, Mary. Maybe next time you will be such a slowpoke. Sprinkle, sprinkle tit. What's with the name, man? What the hell? Boopsy. <laughs> oh. What? Who the hell named this fairies? This kind of name. I mean, slip nip is one. And boopsy. Dot. Twinkle something should have been like Vagana or something. I don't think that should be next time. What do you mean? Oh, she's gonna kill her or something? I mean, maybe we should get rid of you. Oh, shit. Yeah, I kind of agree. Okay. But, sprinkle tit. <laughs> You're my best friend. We can still be friends. Okay. Just without ever seeing each other again. Oh, wow. All talking. All being friends. <laughs> what? What the hell was that, man? I can't believe what I'm hearing. The fairies have spoken. Mary the fairy is no longer welcome among us. Alright. You're banished forever. Fine, I don't need you. I don't need any of you. I'll be just fine on my own. <laughs> Toodle, bitch. <laughs> and with that, Mary set out in the search of a new life all on her own. Wow, fairies are such an asshole, <laughs> Grandpa. Oh, she cried, what the hell? They sure are, Emma. Would you like to save the game? Oh, yes, hell uh, yeah. Why not? A pile of stones dressed on the ground, representing a potential future grave marker. Okay. How would I catch this bird? Never mind. A pile of stones dressed on the ground, presenting a. Okay, never mind. Alright, so where do I go now? The, gra the grave marker sits peacefully still in the damn soil. It reads, Rip Jim Morrison. He was the Lizard King, he could do anything. Okay. Is there any kind of funny ones here? The grave marker sits peacefully still in the damn soil. It reads, Rip, let me kill Mr. If you'd like to gamble, I'll tell you he's your man. Win some, lose some is all the same to him. The only card he needs is the Ace of Spades. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, same shit. Rip Jimi Hendrix. Excuse me why he kisses the sky. Oh, okay. The grave marker sits peacefully still in the damp soil it reads. Kurt Cobain. He came as he was, as you were as you want him to be. I don't get any of this. Freddie Mercury. Oh my god, are these real people? He was the champion, my friends. He kept on fighting till the end. Let me let me look up. Freddie Mercury? I, I'm sure I heard this name before. Freddie... Oh! Oh, these people are actually real people from the real life. Let me check. What's his name again? Jim Morrison. Yeah, I, I feel like it's... Oh, they're all singers. Oh... Wow, this game's easter egg is awesome. 
All right, no, that's that's cool. Chester Bennington, his life signed forever, never gone in his hearts. I wonder is all this like some kind of lyrics on their songs? Chester Bennington. Chester. Oh yeah, they're all, they're all singers. Okay, that's very smart of you, game. All right. Um, comment F on the chat for all these singers right here. Uh, I didn't re review all of them, but yeah. So I'm gonna end the video right here. I'm gonna give it a short one for this uh, video for part one. It seems very interesting with based on the stories that they given here. It's very interesting. It gives me a lot of laughs compared to the Randall's Monday. Uh, so if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to check for part two and uh, subscribe to the channel if you if you did not forget and like this video as well if you can. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye.